So today I'm doing something really exciting and literally I've been counting down the days from the moment I decided to invest in this. I'm getting a Cosmolan facial. This is like a peel and it's designed for skin that is pigmented. It makes it really bright and really rejuvenated and dewy and just brightens the whole face up by getting rid of all that dirty dark pigmentation that builds up over time. Now you may be thinking, Kanna, you don't have any pigmentation. <laughs> well, that's not the truth. I'm just good at hiding it. Um, I use BB creams, CC creams, concealers, powders, foundations, pretty much anything and everything to cover my pigmentation. But I don't actually need to do this. I've done a lot of research and looked at a lot of before and after photos and I've decided this is what I want to do. I want to see if I can get rid of this pigmentation and start feeling a lot better about my skin. Now I have been on the pill and I've done various rounds of fertility treatment including IVF and my skin has suffered as a consequence. I also have a lifestyle that involves being outdoors a lot. I take Rocco to swimming lessons, um, I take my dogs down to the beach, I love being in the ocean myself so my skin has really suffered and I really need to do this. The time has come. I feel like my skin looks dirty and tired and dull so I'm incredibly excited. Now you see why I've been counting down the days to do this treatment. So the purpose of this video is to actually share with you my experience of this treatment. Share with you how it works, whether it hurts or not, with the frustrations of it, the challenges of it and most of all and best of all is to see the results at the end to see if it was worth it. Now follow along with me in this video I'll take you through who's doing this treatment and that is Douglas Piera in the city. He is the only person I trust with my skin in particular this type of treatment. He actually makes his own products and he has a very gentle holistic approach when it comes to skincare. He doesn't like anything that traumatizes the skin, things like aggressive um, scrubs or laser treatments. It was all about penetrating what is deep within the skin to help bring it forward. And I have been seeing him for quite a while now and my skin only glows. His products are absolutely fantastic. I use all of them. And funny, whenever I wear his um, cosmetic treatments, particularly the serums, I get so many comments as to how like healthy my skin is looking. So as you can tell, I'm really excited today, so follow along with this video and watch and see the results at the end. So we're going to be doing the Cosmolan um, depigmenting treatment today. So the first step that we're going to be working on is just taking away any fatty oils on the skin, just taking basically a degreaser uh, to help the penetration of the Cosmolan mask. We're protecting some areas um, around the face, sensitivity around the nose and the eyes, and then um, applying the Cosmolan um, peeling mask. So it is a slightly darker colour and tone, and unfortunately you do leave the clinic with the mask <laughs> on and it stays on the skin for a 9 to 10 hour period. But this is going to allow all the active ingredients to slowly be delivered into the skin um, to help with the depigmenting program. Looking really pretty right now with my mud mask. Um, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, it just feels like a normal mask. I'm a little teeny tiny bit itchy, but I'm going to use a cotton tip without the cotton, just a little plastic stick to scratch around my nose so I don't rub the cream off or get it stuck under my nails. But feeling fine. And to be honest, it wasn't actually even that bad getting into my car. I walked past people and they didn't even notice that <laughs> I have a face mask on and this thing pulling all my hair back. Um, so I am going to wash this off at 8.30 tonight. I'm working from home for the day. I've already done all my um, groceries. If I need extra food, I'll just order Uber Eats. And my mother is very kindly picking up Rocco from school today, so I don't need to frighten the children. Douglas warned me that there'd be some bubbling around the mouth and a little bit up here. It actually hasn't happened here, but you can see here. Now face is not hurting at all. Um, I'm looking forward to having a shower at 8.30 tonight and washing this off, but perfectly fine. I'm perfectly comfortable and working from home so no one can see me. Okay, this has been on my face for almost 10 hours now. I've got 20 minutes until I can jump in the shower. My skin doesn't hurt at all, but it feels like a mild windburn, sunburn sensation. And I just cleaned my teeth, so I kind of accidentally, in the movement of brushing my teeth, with some of the um, Cosmolan uh, cream has cracked off and dropped off but I cannot wait to jump in the shower and wash <laughs> this off now. Okay so I've just got out of the shower and my skin feels and looks sunburnt. It's not too dramatic but I imagine it's going to get worse overnight. 
so I'm preparing to wake up tomorrow morning. Um, and it is imperative that I don't put any other creams or masks or serums on my skin. I must just let it be overnight, and then I, tomorrow morning I can start using the Cosmolan um, like recovery um, tonics and creams and stuff like that. But I've just got to hang in there. It feels very tight, but tomorrow all will be revealed. I've just quickly popped home um, to cool my face down. My face feels like it's very sunburned. It feels warm, swollen and burning, but not in a painful way at all. Um, and also people have commented about how smooth my skin looks. Amazingly, whilst I've been out and about looking like this, no one has actually said anything like, what have you done to your face? Everyone, like, people haven't really noticed. Even one of my really good girlfriends who works in um, the beauty industry didn't even like react or say anything and it wasn't until I told her what I've done she was like oh yeah so I'm gonna put another layer of this on me to help cool me down because I feel like I need to put my head in a freezer but it's it actually it doesn't hurt at all it's just hot and it's also a really hot day so that's probably not helping okay so this is day four and I am shedding the redness is finally dying down I'm feeling like a snake but I have to say I can feel the skin that's the new skin and it is so incredibly soft and smooth and I'm noticing all my freckles on my nose have gone. Pretty heavy shed shedding. And I just want to scratch it all off and rub it all off but you can't. Okay so you can see my skin um, has shedded a lot. Um, it's still continuing to do so but what I want to show you is you can see this kind of semicircle here. Now this actually was a big dark circle where I burnt myself with a curling iron and literally the pigmentation is actually just flaking off, like disappearing, flaking away. Absolutely incredible. I'm interested to see what happens here and here, but that was a perfectly round circle. You can see what's barely left. And I think that will actually just flake away in the next day or so. So I have been progressing on with the Cosmolan 2 um, treatment. I'm pretty much just able to apply the Cosmolan without needing the additional creams. And the other day I noticed I had a new patch of pigmentation that I'd never seen before. And obviously what's happened is because my skin is like constantly shedding, it's go like going back to years worth of, um, like, I guess, sun damage and pigmentation that's been sort of hiding deep and below the surfaces. Anyway, it would have been, it was quite a round patch. And literally this afternoon, it's quite incredible. It's the best way to describe this. It's like having dried yolk on your face, which you just, which like flakes away. So you can see what's left here. This is literally just peeling off. And you can see the fresh soft skin in here and the, the outline of the sort of, I guess, yellow pigmentation that's just left. And that's literally just flaking off and away. So it's like, literally like, so imagine scratching off um, yellow egg yolk off your face. It really is amazing. And you can see how smooth my skin looks. I've had, again, continued to have comments and observations. I have had some congestion around here and here. Um, and it's very tempting to pick um, but other than that it's incredibly smooth and soft and this which was quite a large amount of um, pigmentation before I burnt myself with some curling wand that little tiny circle is the only thing that's remaining so I'm continuing on lathering on the Cosmolan 2 it's working really well so my skin is pretty much back to normal um, actually it's better than normal uh, my skin is glowing um, it's never looked brighter and felt smoother um, all the peeling and shedding has completely stopped. It was quite an even shedding, which was great. There's a little bit that's reappeared on my nose, but it's tiny. And I'm, I'm using the Take Home Care Kit, so I'm using Cosmolan 2, just a teeny tiny amount, all over the face, which will hopefully get rid of the rest of the pigmentation that's just, just there and around here and here. But um, my skin's never looked better. This has been really incredible, and I'm getting a lot of questions about what I've done and also a lot of compliments, which is really nice. Okay, so it's been about 10 days since I had my Cosmolan treatment, and ever since I hit, I think, day four or day five, my skin has just continuously got better and better. I'm not wearing any foundation at all right now. My skin is looking so bright. I have no issues with reacting to the Cosmolan 2 treatment. 
um, I'm flaking occasionally but not a big deal very very light can't really tell until you look close up in the mirror and then it goes um, shortly after um, I'm absolutely blown away and I'm just now starting to focus on the little bits of pigmentation that still remain by just during the day putting a little bit of a heavier layer on that area with the Cosmolan 2 but I'm absolutely amazed and it's funny like if I'm having a bad day I'm like and I look in the mirror I'm like well at least my skin's looking great okay so just showing you um, an example of a bad day of peeling now um, this has probably been enhanced because I wore some uh, makeup this morning because I was filming and you're not really supposed to do that like pick it off but that is the an extreme version it's not normally bad as that's more normally like a very soft gentle dandruff of the face so I've officially done two weeks since my Cosmolan treatment and you can see my skin is looking so much better I am actually caking quite a heavy layer particularly at nighttime of the Cosmolan 2 because my skin can really handle it but you can see the shedding that's continuing on and it's kind of like having dandruff all over your face it my skin definitely does not like wearing um, makeup it sort of pushes it off so I've been really avoiding wearing makeup, which is fine because my skin actually looks better without makeup. But um, and it is feeling a little bit tight because I put a really heavy layer on last night. But you can see it is really improved, brightened my skin. Now, um, I've noticed I'm getting a few blackheads and I'm not sure if that's because we've peeled back so many layers. I've had deep, dark blackheads from years ago that have sort of been covered up um, for a long time that have come forward or whether it's just because of the excessive um, shedding of skin but I'm about to put the um, anti-stress face mask on um, which is part of the Cosmolan take-home kit which is imperative that you use it um, for the next sort of month or two so we're going to pop this on for like half an hour while I do some chores around the house and um, just give my skin a bit of a chance to um, to cleanse itself all right, so it has been 30 days since my Cosmolan treatment, and this is what my skin is looking with absolutely no makeup on. I still have a little bit of um, shedding here, but pigmentation, that, completely gone. Gone, just teeny tiny bit left here. Absolutely amazing. My skin looks illuminated. It looks brighter. It looks cleaner. It has really been a fantastic treatment. Now, I have a little bit of advice to give anyone that's thinking of doing this. Number one is to think about when you're going to do it, plan it out. If you have a busy weekend that's full of social activities, I recommend trying to book it in earlier in the week so that the, you know, the first two to four days of redness um, are out of the way. Have a remember that redness can definitely be covered up with makeup. My second advice is to try and get the Cosmolan facial done as early in the day as possible. You've got to keep the Cosmolan mask on for a minimum of 10 hours. So if you're someone like myself who likes to go to bed really early, um, getting it done early means it's not going to impact your sleep routine. Okay. My third tip of advice is to invest in either a handheld fan or an ice pack if you get this done during the warmer seasons of the year. Your face does feel warm and if it's a hot day, it does obviously exacerbate that feeling. Not to the point where it feels uncomfortable or painful at all, but that having that access to a, an ice pack would really help take the edge off. Okay. My fourth bit of advice is you can wear makeup, but consider the idea of maybe going without makeup. I found personally for myself, when I put makeup on, my skin didn't like it. She tried to push it off and my skin actually looked much better without makeup. It gave my skin a chance to really breathe. And then my final bit of advice is to get this treatment done by someone you know and trust. Someone who has a large amount of experience in going through this process can ha hold your hand. So if you feel a bit red or feel a bit hot or you're worried about the peeling, they can tell you what to do, they can reassure you, and they can also assess your results because every day is so different. You see waves where your skin looks amazing and then it might go back a bit where it gets red again. However, this has definitely been an incredible experience. I've never had so many people observe and comment about my skin and it's been fantastic and I will actually be looking at doing this again in the future. The take home skincare kit is amazing. You must use it as part of the routine. So much that I've loved these products I'm going to consider on using them on an ongoing basis.